Houston Texans, Davis Mills. Who do the Texans pursue as a backup quarterback? If any, cue the intro. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. I'm going to get into a question of whether or not Davis Mills deserves the competition or he should just be handed the starting job. And I've always saw it as anybody that is handed a starting job immediately, you don't get the best results from, essentially. And it's different when it comes to veterans. You know, it's different when it's Cameron Hayward for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like, you know what you're going to get from him. You know, you don't need too much competition for that guy, you know, so on and so forth, et cetera. This is in regards to a rookie quarterback in Davis Mills who, yeah, he looked good. He's outperformed what I thought he's grown and he's matured throughout the season into something that looks pretty attainable for a quarterback. But I still need competition. I can't have a guy being too comfortable going into the next season. Yeah, he's already came out and said, yeah, I want to work out in the offseason and I want to get a bunch of guys together and and work on some Texans stuff and, you know, offseason workouts. I love seeing that. But. I still need competition because competition only makes you better. Yeah. Well, he's going to be looking over his shoulder at the other guy. Good. I need it. I need to see what they are trying to get into because Davis Mills definitely needs to have competition. If you bring in a guy, a second year guy, and you're already crowning him as the next starting quarterback for 2022, which I still have not too much of a problem of, but the competition not having any makes you become relaxed, makes you go, yep, this is my team. I'm relaxed and I don't need to do certain things because I already know I'm that starting quarterback coming into 2022. And I don't need that. I need people with the work ethic to still stay up. I still need him going up and going, doing bigger and better things and working his tail off to do certain things for me as a starting quarterback, just because what he's done so far, dropping a 40 piece nugget on the chargers and outperforming pretty much all the rookies in this rookie class, besides a Mac Jones, who he outperformed in the new England game after saying all that. Yeah. He looks like to be the starting quarterback in 2022, but it doesn't hurt with a little competition. You got guys like a Jacoby Brissett who has ties with Nick Casario. He was drafted in New England and he's performed well as a backup quarterback and in spots where he has been able to start. I'd like to get a guy that can also not be injury prone. Somebody like Tyrod Taylor is injury prone. And I'm just, I don't know if the Texans want to bring him back. I have no problem bringing him back. But, but like I said, injury prone comes into question, okay? Another name that should be thrown around, possibly somebody like Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota's backup, plays for the Raiders. Look, it's not too bad of an idea as well either. A guy that can still is mobile. And from way, way long ago, I thought he was going to be a better quarterback than Jameis Winston, but that's for another. Well, that's, that's a story time for another day. Marcus Mariota, I think, could be a solid, serviceable backup quarterback. I've heard nothing but good things from him, nothing negative in terms of showing uh, other quarterbacks the ropes and telling them how to do things the right way and this way. And he seems like a really good guy, and that is something that the Houston Texans probably wouldn't worry about too much. He's out there, another guy like Colt McCoy, who's been a serviceable backup for many, many years. Again, never heard anything bad about him. Really good guy, really solid quarterback, can show the second-year quarterback the ropes, being a quarterback, the ups, downs, a little bit of small things, details that he could possibly fix. That's no problem whatsoever. The Houston Texans need competition in the quarterback room. Davis Mills should not be handed the starting job next year. Should he get the job next year? Yes. I don't, I don't deny that. He should be the quarterback going into 2022. But let me get this guy some competition. Let me see what he can do with guys trying to get on his tail, trying to get on him. And let me see if that work ethic stays up. 
Let me see how well he does with guys like a Jacoby Brissett, a Colt McCoy, a Marcus Mariota, whoever else is out there. If you bring back Tyrod Taylor, uh, Nick Foles is out there. I don't want him. Chad Henney is out there. I don't really want him either. You know, Joshua Dobbs is out there. I don't really want him either. So the Houston Texans got many backup quarterback options that are available. Some people have thrown the Case Keenum names. Competition usually always makes players better. You shouldn't be handed things anywhere, especially within the Texans organization that has so many holes. I need to see competition and I need to see it in the quarterback room. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for the notice to turn on, drop your comments or reactions down below in the comment section. Let me know, what do you think, guys? Should there be some competition for Davis Mills going into 2022? What do you think? And if you think there should be, Drop a name below. Who do you think the Texans should go after or should they just re-sign Tyrod Taylor? Let's see. I want to know some names down below. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.